If I think of one plugin, product, or app that has made the biggest difference in how I communicate and interact online, looms it. I'm not paid to say this. I've never recorded a video about a product before like this, but ever since I was introduced to Loom, maybe six months to a year ago, it has completely changed the way that I communicate and interact online. And I think it's one of the greatest tools that leaders and coworkers have to decrease the number of meetings they have and bring the humanity back to our communication. So in this video, I wanna explain what Loom is, how to use it, and how to specifically use it to improve our communication, bring the humanity back, and decrease the number of meetings that we have every day, which is gonna make everybody's life better. Hi, I'm Chris Littlefield. I'm the founder of Beyond Thank You. I've spent over 15 years helping leaders across six continents build and maintain cultures where people feel valued and where great work gets done. Let's jump in. <laughs> The majority of people spend their day, specifically in this hybrid world, communicating in written form, whether that's sending emails or chatting via some sort of platform like Slack or Teams. And the problem with written communication is there's a lot of room for miscommunication or misinterpretation. Because when it comes to communication, only 7% of our message is sent through the words that we actually use. And the rest of it is sent through our tone, through our facial expressions, and our body language. And so what I love about Loom is it brings those other elements of our communication back to our message. So I've always liked to communicate via video so people can see me, they can hear my voice, and plus as a person who takes a really long time to write, it always made my job easier. But the problem was, I, when I had to do this before, I had to take out my phone, I had to record the video, I had to then download the video onto my computer, attach it to an email, send it off, but the file was often so large that the person couldn't access the video and could never see it, so I just stopped doing it. And what Loom does is it makes that process extremely easy. So as far as I understand that Loom comes in three different forms. There's a desktop version that you can download. There is an app version you can put onto your phone. And there's also a web plugin version, which is the one that I honestly probably use 95% of the time. So let me show you how to use them. So the first thing you do is you need to be able to get the plugin and add it to your web browser. Now I'm a Chrome user, so that's the one that I have, but just search whatever browser you use and you should be able to find the plugin. Okay, you're gonna click, you're gonna download it and it's gonna prompt you to give access to your camera and to your microphone. And then once you do, you'll be ready to go. Now, the best thing about Loom is that for the majority of people, it's gonna be free to use. You don't even need to pay anything. Now with the free version here, you get up to five minute, vid minute videos and in probably the six months to a year that I've had it, maybe record videos over five minutes, maybe three times, and you can save up to 25 videos. And if I understand right, uh, once you filled up those 25 videos, you can delete some and then you can add more, but I'm not 100% sure about that. You'd have to check in with them. I have the business version, but that's because I use Loom pretty much every single day and I like to save some of the videos that I send. I like to reference them and I also create training videos that I send out to people and so I like to be able to save those in there to be able to support people and send them in the future. Okay, so that's worth that $150 a year to be able to use that. So let's show you how to actually record a video. And I'm gonna go back to this screen right here. You could be on any screen and I'm gonna go up to the top corner here to where my plugins are. I'm gonna come down to Loon and this is gonna launch the recording window. And you're gonna see down in the corner over on the left-hand side, my picture's gonna show up down here. Now, the few things you need to understand about this is you have a couple different options. The first one up here shows you, you have the ability to record screen and camera, screen only or camera only. And I'll show you how to use uh, both the camera only and screen only in this video. So for the camera only, cause I'm gonna record maybe a thank you video to an employee of mine. Okay, so I'm gonna put camera only up here and then I can come down and I can select which camera I wanna use. Okay, and I'm just gonna pick the one for my Mac right here, select that, and then I'm gonna pick my audio device, and you're gonna have your built-in one. I have an external one, so I'm gonna use that external mic for mine, and then I am set and ready to go. So, as soon as I click record, I'm gonna record a video. It's gonna count down, and I can send my message. Hey Amanda, thank you so much for the work that you did on the video the other day. I love the photos you put in. It made it clear, made the message really come across and pop. I would have never thought to be able to put that in. Thank you so much. I love what you did with it. I hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Then I come down, I hit stop down here in the corner and that video is ready to go. 
it's gonna launch here in the video uh, library that you have. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna do is up at the top here, and it already is highlighted for you when you come in. I'm gonna write, thanks, Amanda, okay? Now, everything's up here ready to go. If I wanted to, I could trim the video, I could do different things, I could add emojis and all the rest, but rarely do I ever use those functions. So once I've changed the title here, I click share. And once I do, right, there's a couple options of where you wanna share it and how, but what I always do is I come right in here down to the bottom corner, it says copy link, I copy the link, and then I can go into my email, and I got my email ready, thanks Amanda, I put paste, and as soon as I paste it, it launches this right here. It says, thanks Amanda, watch video, puts that animated GIF there and it's ready to go and I can hit send. And so then on the receiving end, Amanda opens up that video. What does she see? She sees, thanks Amanda. She can click on the video or the watch video plug and then all of a sudden it's gonna launch this window for her on the other end. I play it. Hey Amanda, thank you so much for the work you did on the video the other day. I love the photos you put and she's gonna see the video right there. And now the person on the receiving end of your videos, they can add emojis throughout the video at different points, they can put comments in it, and they can record a comment back to you. And so that's how you use the video recording in Loom. So one of the things about Loom that really saves me a lot of time is when I need to give feedback on maybe a proposal that I'm working on, a video that I'm editing, or a document that we're looking at together, instead of scheduling a meeting where we both get together at the same time to be able to do that, I can quickly record a Loom video to be able to do that. So here's how you do it. You open up the recording plane by recording pane again, and instead of at the top where it says camera only, like I used before, I just switch it to screen and camera. I come down here, I just check my cameras because for some reason it's switching back to my other camera, click to the audio, make sure that's right here, and then I make sure that my document's ready somewhere on my screen, which it is, and then I hit record. Now, it's gonna prompt me, do I wanna share my entire screen? Do I wanna share just a window, right? And I just wanna look at this one proposal right here is what we're gonna look at, or a Chrome, a Chrome tab. So you have the option to pick what you're gonna look at. Then you're gonna click share, and you're gonna be ready to go. Now, I have this up here on the screen, and so all of a sudden it started recording here. And I may go up and say, hey, here's this proposal. I love what you did design-wise here. I think this uh, quote here looks really great. Um, I love what you did down here. Now, I see this open space, so could you add a picture down there? And then as soon as I'm done recording, once again, I hit stop. That video is saved. And so all of a sudden it's up there. It's ready to share with whoever I want to share it with. I change my title again. Feedback. Okay, and that's ready to go. And if I go and play that, and just like the last time, people are gonna add feedback, add comments, and it's ready to go. So in about five to 10 minutes, you should be able to download the app, set up your account, and you'll be ready to go. So the next time you need to give feedback on a document or something you're working on together, instead of scheduling that one-on-one, -on -one, see if you could skip it all together and just record your feedback in a Loom video. The next time it's somebody's birthday or you wanna express their appreciation to them, record a Loom video to them, it's guaranteed to make their day. And if you're a senior manager or a team lead, instead of writing your you know, memo or team memo out to them, try recording the message and then dropping that link into the email you're gonna send anyway. So they can see you expressing it in video and they can feel like they're a part of something. So in this disconnected and hybrid world, this is a great free tool to bring a little humanity back to our communication. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and check out some of the other videos on my channel about creating cultures where people feel valued and appreciated every day. Once again, I'm Chris Littlefield from Beyond Thank You and I hope you have an amazing day.